So you might say, I don't have space to have a vegetable garden. Nope, not true. You have the option of container gardening. The one most important part about any container is that it has to have a drainage hole. You're gonna need a quality soil. Usually in a container garden, we purchase a container mix, potting mix, that has a really nice mix of air and water holding capacity, which will help produce really healthy roots. The other question that comes into mind is, well, how big a container do I need? Well, that really depends on what you wanna grow. Luckily today, many of our common vegetables are being dwarfed, downsized, to fit in this growing trend of containers. So look for those varieties that may be called patio type, more compact, dwarf. A lot of times they're more appropriate for a container. If you don't have space on the floor, you can always try hanging baskets. There are many new varieties on the market suitable for hanging baskets. Do you have maybe issues with bending and stooping? Well, all the rage now are these ADA compliant raised beds where you can garden, uh, where you can put a chair down, set right below them, put your wheelchair up there, and you'll be able to garden. So, how big a container do you need? Well, if you pick this size, you can grow pretty much anything in a container. Keep in mind though, you need that drainage hole to let that excess water drain out. Tomatoes, peppers, a breeze in this size container. Also keep in mind something this large is gonna be easier to maintain because it's not gonna dry out quite as quickly. You can even recycle a five gallon bucket into a great container, but you do need to drill some holes in the bottom to get that drainage. So, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. In this five gallon bucket, you could grow one of the more compact varieties, tomatoes, peppers, and you would have success. You could even grow some of the smaller varieties. You could put two or three broccoli plants in here, or a mess of lettuce, spinach, radishes for the garden. So when it comes to containers, just use your imagination. So keep in mind, the smaller the container, the more work it's gonna be to keep it watered. Ideally, a container is gonna be at least 10 to 12 inches deep, the shallow containers dry out really rapidly, and they also don't allow for good root depth to give you good top growth. So you don't think you have space on your patio to put containers? Well, try some hanging baskets. You can buy all sorts of sizes to grow different plants. And like this variety is one of the new varieties of jalapeno peppers that were bred and grown just for a hanging basket. So the trick on these is put them down where you can see them and enjoy them. They are gonna require more maintenance because of the soil mass. But Hanging baskets are a great way to grow your fresh fruits and vegetables so you too can enjoy them at dinner time.